Hi, this is Neil Dave with WCI Consulting, and today we're going to talk about publication delivery rules within the 4.2 environment. This is a new feature that 4.2 has, uh, SAP has come out with, and in, this, in terms of helping users that schedule publications out to send out meaningful data as opposed to erroneous or reports that do not contain data. So this was an issue within an older version of an XIR2 or 3.1 or even 4.1 where if a report was not loaded properly, for example, on a previous lo uh, night's batch load or ETL load, um, a reports would be sent out without data or without it being properly refreshed. And if that was the case, users, end users would receive Excel PDFs or anything like that where there was not data in it. And so um, this is a way within 4.2 to check against that. So if that does occur, then users will not receive reports that are uh, erroneous or have missing data in it or no data whatsoever. So there's the, the quick way to set this up is when you go ahead and create, you, you have your reports that you're ready to create a publication against, go to new publication and then we'll give it a name. We'll call this delivery rules uh, demo and then we'll click our source document in this case I'm going to select one for right now. Okay. And then now what I can do is I can set up my publications as I normally would, where I can enter enterprise recipient, dynamic recipients, formats, destinations. None of that's really changed. And then also after you've done that part, you can go in here and select prompts, your reoccurrence, how often you want to schedule the report. But what has changed is here at the very bottom, there's a delivery rules uh, section. So when you click on this, what it's going to do is give you a screen with two different rules, you, or two different types of delivery rules. You have delivery individual document when condition is met, deliver all documents only when all conditions are met. So let's first look at the first one here, delivery individual, deliver individual document when, a, when condition is met. So in this case, I have one document, one source document, and then they've applied some conditions here. If I click on the drop down here, I've got four of them. I have always deliver, which obviously means no matter what, when schedule once, return data no matter what happens. Uh, the second one is never deliver. There may be times where if you have a report that you just never want to schedule, you've got that there. Um, I would find that more beneficial if you have a lot of reports that you're adding to a single publication. And if you just want to remove that or temporarily turn that off for a specific report, you can do that without removing it from the publication. The third and fourth options are very critical. The third option here is if scheduled, if scheduled content contains data. So that's what I was mentioning earlier, is that if your report contains data in it, then schedule it out or send it out. If it doesn't, do, then do not schedule this report out. The fourth condition here is scheduled content has been fully refreshed. So if the report's actually been fully refreshed, then return or send out the report. There may be times where the report doesn't have a refresh on open or has never been refreshed and it just returns no data or stagnant data uh, where end users are going to find that not very beneficial. So you can set uh, rules. These two rules are critical in order to make sure that we have runtime or the most up-to-date data for your, end, uh, for your recipients. Okay? So if I select one of these rules, I'm going to say if this schedule, uh, if schedule content contains data, then send out the publication. Okay. So that's what it was meant by delivery, deliver individual document with conditions met. Now, if I have multiple source documents for this one publication, we're going to talk about that second rule. So if I hit add here, I'm just going to select a report that was created previously. And then I'm going to go back to delivery rules. Now what I can do here is I can select the second option, which is deliver all documents when all conditions are met. So in this case, let's say, okay, my report here, grouping independent controls demo, if I have a different uh, condition to say, if scheduled content has, always, is, has been fully refreshed, then send out the report. So if these two conditions are met for these reports, then if I select this option, then go ahead and send out the report. However, if one of these options or one of these conditions fail for the report, it's not going to send out the publication. So those are, uh, that's a new feature that a lot of users have found very beneficial, um, and especially end users as well. So 
That concludes our demo on uh, publication delivery rules.